Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I have a box opening for August's Allure Sample Society. Now if you saw last month's Sample Society, you'll know that this is not a brand new subscription box to me. Although I had canceled earlier in the year, um, they did just recently revise their product and re, um, reformulate their, their subscription box um, where they were going to include a greater variety of products. Um, Sample Society used to be more about skincare and hair care and now they are including more color cosmetics um, into their boxes. So last month's I really loved. I'll link that video uh, in the description bar um, if you'd like to go back and take a look at last month's video. And very excited about opening this month's box. Let's see if they kept up the trend and it's still as good as it was last month. So if you don't know what Sample Society is, it is a beauty subscription box and it's $15 a month. You receive four to five products, um, mostly deluxe size samples, although last month we did receive two full size products. So you can receive a mix of full size products or deluxe samples, um, but I do find with this box that the majority do tend to be deluxe samples. It comes with a special Allure magazine that um, gives you a little bit of information about the products you receive in your box. So let's go ahead, open up, and get started. So when you open it up, of course the book comes out, and then there is a card this month that says, obsessed with hashtag sample society. Why keep it all to yourself? So it um, wants me to snap a pic and take share it with my friends so we may or may not do that I'm not sure so looking in the box it seems to have some really good stuff um, first product being by Kate Somerville um, which is a great skincare brand it's the Delo oil restorative treatment and what this says is let's go ahead into the magazine and find out a little bit about this product so it says it's a fast absorbing face oil that helps to repair the skin barrier to boost moisture levels and firm the skin so they are calling this a dry oil um, and they say the and by they I mean the allure editors say that this isn't the least bit greasy or shiny um, and vaguely resembles, has an herbal scent. Let's go ahead and open it up and see what it smells like. It's safety sealed, which I like. The scent is very light. It certainly isn't anything offensive. If anything, more of a clean scent. It feels like oil. It's not overly greasy. Um, not quite as heavy as, if you're familiar with the Josie Marin oil, it's not quite that heavy. Um, and it does seem to sink into the skin. It looks like a nice size sample um, for an oil. So excited to have this and we'll try to incorporate this into my skincare regimen and see what kind of results we get and see if it's worth uh, purchasing the full size, which the full size of that does retail for $65. I will put the um, prices of what was received in the box in the description bar, so be sure to look for that. The next product that I see is a nail polish by Ciate. Um, and it's a miniature, so it's not a full size. Um, it's in the color Cha Cha Cha. Now, Ciate is a pretty expensive nail color um, brand, and um, a full size retails for 
fifteen dollars. Um, not sure how this stacks up to the full size as far as size, but I think a mini really is enough. I don't know about all of you, but I never finish a full size nail polish. Um, if you do, please let me know in the comments section. Um, this is a bright orange color and in the description it says a neon orange nail polish and and they say and we're not kidding about neon it actually looks brighter on nails than in the bottle so um open it up it looks to um have a nice consistency um very thick maybe a two coat nail polish so um that'll be interesting I, I certainly do not have any neon orange nail polishes so that is something new to my collection it will actually take me out of my comfort zone because i am not an orange girl but i will give anything a try the next product is a brand that i've never tried but always wanted to and it's by orbe it is their surf comber tussle texture mousse and orbe is a very expensive hair brand um, and this is a texturizing mousse that thickens and adds pc texture without sacrificing shine or softness and they're saying it's an airy um, and light mousse um, with a strong dose of the Orbe signature citrus and jasmine scent and that two ping pong ball sized poofs um, are enough to deliver rumpled surfer girl waves to shoulder length hair with just a few scrunches. Um, and they're saying you should apply this mousse to dry hair which is unusual. I always thought you put mousse into wet hair but they are saying that when they worked it through wet hair before blow drying the result was a surprisingly crunchy almost shellacked feel um, and to definitely use a diffuser if you want to rough dry after applying so um, we'll give it a try and um, I don't really do a lot of surf sprays or that texture look but um, we'll give it on a we'll give it a try um, someday that I'm not I'm not going anywhere and can just lounge around the house and if I like it then we will uh, give it a try going out but all in all I'm very happy to get an Orbe product to try um, the next product that I see is a it's by Jane Iredell and it looks to be a mascara yes it's Jane Iredell's longest lash thickening and lengthening mascara in black ice and I'm not going to open this because I do have a lot of mascaras open right now but if you see the picture it does look to be a natural bristle brush um, and it does have it looks to be a fiber mascara so um, let's just read this a second. A modest petroleum-free mascara that contains cellulose fibers to thicken and lengthen lashes. So, um, but the Allure ed editors are saying um, that they're contact lens wearers and that sensitive eyes weren't bothered at all by the fibers. So. Um, that's exciting to hear. So this is not a full size. It looks to be, I'll have to see, ooh, the full size of this mascara is $33. So whatever size this is, this says it's 0.1 ounce of product and I don't know how much is in a normal mascara. Um, but this probably is a pretty pricey sample. The last thing that I find in my box is a Too Faced Melted. Um, it's a deluxe size sample in Melted Peony. And interestingly enough, I just received um, a deluxe sample of the Melted Peony um, from Sephora. It's a beautiful color 
and um, even though I have one of these already I'm gonna go ahead and keep this one because I do like um, the product and I can carry one of these in my bag while one of them stays at home so um, this is one that I definitely don't mind having a duplicate of I'm gonna go ahead and get my already open one found it and I'll go ahead and give you a swatch of this just in case you haven't seen what this color looks like it's a beautiful pink color I think this is a color that would look good on just about everyone so um, to recap my products that I received in this month's Allure Sample Society box we had the deluxe size sample of the Kate Somerville Dillo Oil, the Orbe Surf Comer Textured Mousse, the Ciati Nail Polish in Cha Cha Cha, the Jane Iredell Mascara, and the Melted Peony Too Faced uh, Melted Lipstick. All of them deluxe sizes um, this month, but great products. Um, products that I am interested in trying and um, overall uh, pleased again for two months in a row. So we will definitely be keeping Sample Society uh, for another month and see if they continue on this streak of delivering um, great products and uh, a great variety of products. If you liked this video, please give it a nice thumbs up. If you're new to my channel and aren't already subscribed, please hit that subscribe button. Thank you so much for watching. I look forward to seeing you in a video in the very near future. Bye everyone!